height. So you can see I have an elevation uh, output here. Um, my hatch might need a little work, but uh, it's not too bad. Uh, I haven't numbered it yet, so this is a pre-numbering uh, elevation. You can see I have elevation marks here. I'm missing elevation marks here. So what you can do is you can just go to Labels and Dimensions and you can just insert a level symbol, which just click where you want to put it and then click over here and keep it in line, then right click. You can put in another one just to, come, just to reactivate the previous command and there's your elevations or we can delete these two and the proper way the best way to do it i think is to go back to your model it'll take you a little bit longer but just go back into your model and this is the beeline so i have a model view here so I'll click on that it'll bring us into the b and we can see what we've got here so we can see there's an elevation symbol here so that is the one that is on the drone so what we want to do is let's go to 2d wireframe there it is so what i'm going to do is now i'm going to go to the next column and at this point i'm going to insert another level symbol sorry we need to go back to the home tab and do this level put that in there okay now i can right click again and repeat the command again and put one here and then let's go to the other side and we can put another one here so there's your level now this one is the same as the one over here uh, but let's go back into the drawing and i don't think it's going to come back in if you update so let's go and we'll just try it update detail it might come in and we'll see if the level symbols come in they did come in all right so they, that will work they will come in that way now they'll come in here you'll need to drag them over so I'll just pull it over like this grab this one you can just click on the one below it and it'll line it up with it which is very useful and there you go now you don't have to worry about them getting deleted or if you update sometimes they'll disappear if they're not in the model so that's the best way of doing that now you have them going forward during your model so anywhere you want it shown in your elevation put it in your model hope that helps